Obama's admin lets a Mali Muslim go free as final act before leaving office, now look what he just did. It has now been revealed that the Somali terrorist who stabbed a Canadian police officer and ran over four pedestrians a few weeks ago had been caught by the U.S. Border Patrol while entering the United States through the United States-Mexican border, and that he was actually released by Obama's Department of Homeland Security, which in turn allowed him to continue his trek to Canada, where the attack took place. An Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, spokeswoman says ISIS operative, Abdullah Ihsan Sharif, was ordered deported but instead was released on an order of supervision, and of course the feds never heard from him again until he committed the attack in Canada a few years later. Sharif entered the U.S. in 2011 through the San Cedro port of entry in California without documentation and was briefly held at the Ote Mesa Detention Center in San Diego, a local newspaper reported. A year later he crossed the border into Canada and settled in Edmonton after being granted refugee status. On September 30 he slammed into an Edmonton police officer with his car then got out of the vehicle and repeatedly stabbed the cop with a knife. After fleeing the scene, Sharif stole a truck and deliberately mowed down four pedestrians. Canadian authorities found an ISIS flag in his car and have charged him with multiple counts of attempted murder criminal flight causing bodily harm and possession of a weapon. Two years ago, Canadian authorities investigated the 30-year-old terrorist for espousing extremist views. It's disturbing that Sharif's northbound trek took him through the U.S.-Mexico border. As part of an ongoing investigation into cartels, corruption and terrorism, Judicial Watch has for years reported that Islamic extremists are entering the country through Mexico and that ISIS is operating in border towns just miles from American cities. Judicial Watch launched the project in 2014 by exposing a sophisticated narco-terror ring with strong ties to ISIS and connections running from El Paso to Chicago to New York City. Two of the FBI's most wanted were embroiled in the operation that also had deep ties to Mexico. Less than a year later, Judicial Watch reported that ISIS is operating in a Mexican border town just 8 miles from El Paso, the result of Islamic terrorists joining forces with drug cartels and human smugglers known as coyotes. Last year a high-ranking DHS official told Judicial Watch that Mexican drug traffickers help Islamic terrorists stationed in Mexico cross into the United States to explore targets for future attacks. Among the jihadists that travel back and forth through the porous southern border is a Kuwaiti named Sheikh Mahmoud al Markaber, an ISIS operative who lives in the Mexican state of Chihuahua not far from El Paso. Kaber trained hundreds of al-Qaeda fighters in Pakistan, Afghanistan and Yemen and has lived in Mexico for more than a year, according to information provided by Judicial Watch's government source. Now Kaber trains thousands of men, mostly Syrians and Yemenis to fight in an ISIS base situated in the Mexico-U.S. border region near Ciudad Juarez, the intelligence gathered by Judicial Watch's source reveals. Staking out U.S. targets is not difficult and Kilber actually bragged in an Italian newspaper article that the border region is so open that he could get in with a handful of men, and kill thousands of people in Texas or in Arizona in the space of a few hours. In the same article Mexico's top diplomat, Foreign Affairs Secretary Claudia Ruiz, said this new wave of fundamentalism could have nasty surprises in store for the United States. And of course, this whole sick episode is largely being ignored by the American mainstream media because it will make their messiah, former President Barack Hussein Obama, look like the weak Islamic appeaser that he really was. What makes all this even scarier is this religion of peace disciple cross not only one, but two borders. This is what happens when two nations elect buffoons as their leaders. At this point, we all know very well what Obama was and what his true objective for America was, but Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is far worse. To the point, he even handed over $10.5 million, Canadian dollars, to a confessed terrorist, Omar Ahmed Sayed Qadr, who is a Canadian national who was detained by the United States at Guantanamo Bay for over 10 years. years.